difficult, so she's capable of it if she can rise to the occasion. She's also four inches taller than anyone else in the field. So watch her come home strongly with those big long strides. There's Kelly White, 1096 in the semi-finals. Gail Devers, one from the outside in lane seven. Chandra Starrup in lane six from the Bahamas. And Christine Aron with the hopes of a nation behind her. We've seen the drama in the men's ranks. Let's hope we don't have a repeat in the women's final. Holding a long, long time Play. here. <laughs> away and away cleanly on the inside. Here's Tori Edwards got a good start on the outside. Kelly White flashing home. Edwards in front. Here comes Kelly White. She's the world champion. 10.85. Tori Edwards ran second. Well, Kelly White flashed home on the outside. Edwards led. But Kelly White is the new world champion in breathtaking fashion. Zana Block got a poor start. Christine Aron wasn't there. But Kelly White was the sprinter who handled the big occasion in the best possible fashion. 10.85 with a point three tailwind. Fastest time in the world this year and the best place to do it. They held them forever on your marks and then the gun went so quickly. I think it caught some of them by surprise. What a race from Edwards. Personal best 10.93 and Blocks got up to third. 10.99, a season best for her. Gee, she's a good all-time competitor, big-time competitor, isn't she, Block, when you consider she'd been injured this year. What a race from Tori Edwards. Just unexpectedly, she burst from the blocks and had the others under pressure, and White did well because she was by herself. She wouldn't have seen Kelly, wouldn't have seen Tori Edwards on the inside. There are the three medalists. Aaron finished sixth. Starrett was fourth, 11.02, then Thanu, the season's best for her, a good run, 11.03, considering the form that she brought into the championships, then Aaron, Bailey and Divas in a season's best, Bailey in seventh place, 11.07 is a personal best, so it was high quality, 10.85, Jane, well they don't hand out world championship gold medals to anyone and 10.85 is an impressive time to run in the championship final and she deserves to be the world champion. She does indeed. I tell you we'll be interested to see her rock up for the 200 metres later in the week because she is actually a better 200 metre runner although that's probably disputable now than 100 metre run up. And Zana Block's got the full set now. Gold, silver and bronze. I think she'd um, be pretty happy with picking up a medal here having come into the last couple of weeks getting over injuries she's done well well Kelly White set out her store with uh, winning the US championships over 100 and 200 will she do to the double here 1085 world leading time and the gold medalist the world champion ahead of Tori Edwards and Zana Block in 1099 season's best for Zana Block Trained by Remy Korchimi, the Russian, as we take a look at the race, who's looking for the double here, trains Jane, uh, Dwayne Chambers. How about at the start from Tori Edwards? She's in front there for certain, and White did a good job because Starrett was right alongside her. Divas was up there for a long time too, and Block finished with a rush, and it was the weakness of her race in every other round but the final. And Starrett really, the last half of her race didn't come through.